Yeah, let's go. Wait, let me see. What other missions are there for here to do? So I'm guessing all these places are how locations. Mother base staff. I got two more members of the staff. The funny thing is that of all these members, not all of them are actually in current jobs. I am not not the greatest person at this thing. Don't bug me. I'm learning. Select unit. Select unit. Are you already a mechanic? Oh, alright then. Select Where are unit. you? You are there. Select unit. Is everyone RD team? Select unit. Yeah, everyone is an RD team. So dedicated and and it, I'm guessing that's just what those things those things can signify. Select unit. Um support support and uh yeah, most of them are just gonna keep them there because I don't have any other actual things available yet. Otherwise, I'd have so more options than this because I only have waiting. I only have these two currently. I don't have the sword nor any of the other ones. Like, if I, I'll probably put him in the medicine because I'm guessing that's what that is. It's a pill, I guess. Kind of looks like one. Because each one of those things signifies an actual thing that they can do. And none of them can support me. How fabulous. Direct contract. Oh crap. I'm going to think about that first before I actually go into doing this thing. Database. Gray Wolf. Oh, I see. Every time I capture them, they end up giving me a little bit of information about themselves. Yay for encyclopedia and databases. Good old information stuff. Yeah. Um, development. Okay, helicopter. Let's see what the hell I can do with helicopter. I'm... You know what? Let's do it. Develop yourself. You gotta get better. Alright, sorry, got that thing updated. Please specify a project. That's what this is D horse and D horse is next. Oh I got nothing for buddy currently and weapons. Please specify a project. Can you get the tranquilizer stuff? Secondary weapon. I don't want the damaging! I don't want to kill! And I know that really doesn't help me out much, but I really don't want to kill. You know, at one point in time, I think I might end up letting myself go and just kill everything in sight. Oh, 
Oh, then. Wait, is that, that, that thing says G zero GMP, and then the top it says user requirements 2000 GMP. Gosh. You know what? Whatever. Whatever, I gotta upgrade everything as I can. Everything that can get an upgrade will get an upgrade, even if I don't use you as often. Why did- oh. Wait, what the hell did I get? Level 3. Then these level 2? One and level two are really not that big of a deal then. Alright, uh, whatever. Wait, crap, wait, wait. Please specify a project. Mm, beauty and the bees. Once again, things that I, I gotta accept at one point in time, I'm probably gonna have to leave some damage into something. And and then I also have things that I can't put to sleep and I need to kill, like those drones that scared the living god out of me. Like, I felt freaking... I felt fighting this. Wait, how much does it take? Um, you know what? I might need it. How is it? Do it. Oh no, I'm good without the drop right now. And of course, we got these uh, grenade launcher, sniper. <gasps> yes! For these kind of missions where I need to target somebody at a distance and kill them, this weapon is beautiful. I don't need to drop it right now. I think I might need her off though. <gasps> oh yes, baby, yes. The moment I can get that, my this this game just became beautiful to me. Machine gun, my favorite gun of all, because it's a machine. And uh, the launcher, shield. Eh, why not? Okay. You know, actually, I think I might need that. Oh, decoys. <laughs> oh, the fun I'm gonna have with these decoys. Flag grenade. Flare grenade. Smoke grenade. Son of a gun, yes! I'm wasting so much money right now, but technically, okay, I don't actually roll with technicalities, but still, this is actually a good form of using my money. I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, and, uh, you son of a gun! I need this thing to get heavier, like, so it can pick up more stuff. Cargo extraction, cargo 2, so... Portable ammo. Oh, okay, currently I'm okay. Mission list. Please select a mission. That's the number of the next mission. Side ops. Cassette tapes. Let's listen to some cassettes. Mother base. Cos, what about the unit that attacked us in the mist? You knew something about them. That wasn't my first run-in with them. It happened right before I was captured by the Soviets. We were on the Zero Line that day. The Afghan side. On our way back from training the Mujahideen at a mountain camp in Kuna province. There's a lot of that work in Afghanistan. Most PFs shy away from it because it draws too much attention. But for us, that was the whole point. The job itself went great. 
We just had to make it back to a tribal area in Pakistan. But all of a sudden, visibility got real bad. It was no sandstorm. Our point man gave the strange report. He said he could see skulls in the mist. Skulls? The next moment, he went silent. We scrambled into formation, right before his arms and legs came raining down on us. It was always supposed to be a dangerous mission, so I had Diamond Dogs very best with me. We were calling out to each other. But one by one, the voices just went dead. Whatever happened to me, I lost consciousness before I knew it. When I came to, I was in a Soviet camp, tied to an interrogation chair. Could they be some new Spetsnaz unit? No. The ones that interrogated me were just the average rank and file. Whatever group attacked us, the way they moved was just insane. Yep, I know exactly which ones. It's the things that look like ghosts or drones, or the thing that scared the crap out of me. I doubt the West does either. Otherwise, the folks at Langley would be sleeping a lot easier. Why'd they come after you? Wish I knew. I'm the only one who survived. Though I don't think they planned it that way. If I was their target, they wouldn't have just handed me over to the 40th Army. Whatever the case, we need to watch our step until we know who they really are. And boss, if you ever do run into them again, don't try to take them on. You just get the hell out of there. So boss ready to come on. Started dealing with Zero, with I'm guessing when me, it was a with parasitic me. relationship. Though, a mutually beneficial one. Cypher had no army of their own, so they wanted us. They wanted our strength. They approached me as a potential business partner. But they had other motives. Cypher coaxed us into Central America, into that U.S.-Soviet proxy war, to fuel Mother Base's growth. Once we were big enough, they'd force us to join them. That was the plan. That's why they had Paz still Zeke. Right. And if we refused, she would use Zeke to fire a nuke from Mother Base. The world would consider us a liability, and countries would unite to destroy us. We stopped the launch. And yet they still took us down, through that fake inspection they orchestrated to cover up their sabotage. That power Cypher wanted. We don't have it anymore. So why are they still after you? Is it just the fear of leaving you alive? I don't know. Was Zero really... All I know is the man I knew wouldn't want this. What do you mean? We have to consider that it might not be Zero we're dealing with. We know virtually nothing about Cypher anymore. How big they've gotten, what they want, or even who they really are. The new mother base started out as a test drilling rig operated by a mineral resources supplier, but their project fell through. The Seychelles government was happy to hand the place over to us. It was just scrap on stilts. Hmm. So with a few dummy construction companies set up as fronts, we started renovating the half-finished rig. From the outside, it looked like the project was back on rails. Kaz, you... What? I see what you're doing. Recreating the mother base we had nine years ago. Only this time. That's right. The mother base Cypher thought they destroyed will return from the grave to kill them. We'll prove to the world that we were the victors. And if we lose again? They can't fool us the same way twice. Now our enemies are in plain sight. And when our organization gets too big, we split it across companies. Any company that draws attention gets liquidated, and its capital is back-channeled into a new company. Most PFs are small-time operations anyway. And in this business, the minnows go bankrupt all the time. We've never aroused suspicion. Plus... We have Hewick. Hewick? Human Exploitation Company. It's a business specializing in intel gathering. Think of it as a civilian intelligence agency. Cause that's... Remember what they were trying to accomplish at the prison facility in Cuba? That gave me the idea. We dispatch moles into conflict zones around the world, and each sets up an intel network on site. Then they stay in place to give us stable points of contact when other nations intervene in the conflicts. Hewick's strength is that it has a cutout at each level. You get your job from one guy, then you hand it off to another. No one has direct access. It's a perfect black box. Hewick members also work their way into the superpowers intelligence agencies to make sure Diamond Dogs gets work. We have those countries by the balls. That's our deterrent when we need it. Networking? In the intelligence community? Sure. That's how we've grown this far. And when you go out on missions, intel from Hewick will be there to back you up. But despite all that, Cypher has its eyes on us. The only reason I'm not dead is that they needed to know where you were. 
Figured if you woke up, I'd go straight to you. That's why you made that ruckus at the zero line. Yeah, to make their own surveillance work against Holy them. Holy crap, it's I showering it outside. Off Cyprus. Cause. Then I just had to wait for you to save me. And I've gotten used to waiting. Cause. That's not all. It was a good chance to scout the market. And with the West wanting the Soviets out of Afghanistan, their agencies are bursting at the seams with funding. Boss, let's start by building up our Afghan presence. Why put Mother Base in the Seychelles? We're at the center of the world here. We're all the way out in the Indian Ocean. Come on. Lebanon, Sri Lanka, East Timor, and Africa. From here, our reach extends to conflict zones the world over, including Afghanistan, of course. So it's prime real estate for a mercenary. Exactly. Latin America isn't as close as I'd like, but we have Amanda and her people to help in that department. And besides, the Seychelles government owes us a favor. Owes us? The Seychelles has strong ties to the East, which the West wanted to shake up. It came to a head three years ago, in an attempted coup. It was a force of South African mercenaries, with U.S. backing behind the scenes. They were only platoon size. But South Africa is home to some heavy PFs. Too much for the Seychelles to handle. In the end, they accepted help from the Tanzanian army and quelled the coup. We set up the deal and handled on-site tactical instruction. That led to some training work for the Seychelles military. And when we put down a mutiny within their forces, well, we made a lot of people happy. They don't pay us. This they just let the us power goes out. Their offshore territory on the promise will come running if something else happens. So we're bodyguards, too. It's a good setup. We can only take Mother Base so far here. We'll have to find somewhere else when this place starts getting big. Aren't you being a little hasty? Nothing hasty about it. You're back with us now. So, Kaz, the ship that took us from Cyprus, it used to be a whaler. Yeah, a Japanese vessel. How was the voyage? It was... <sighs> stimulating. <laughs> well, she was part of a whaling fleet up until a few years ago. Her displacement isn't anything to write home about, but she can really move. She still had plenty of life left in her, but then the work dried up. Global opposition to whaling has been mounting for years. Is that right? The push to ban it has been gaining traction for a little over a decade. Individual species came under protection as the years went on. And then two years ago, the IWC adopted a moratorium on commercial whaling. Several countries, including Japan, fought it to the bitter end. But eventually, most whaling companies had no choice but to throw in the towel. You ever tried whale snake? Can't say that I have. When I was a kid in Japan, practically everybody ate it. That good, huh? The country was poor in those days. And whale was cheap. International opinions changed since then. In any case, that's why we were able to get a bargain price. Whale ship. snake? Of course, we did end up spending <laughs> five times the purchase price in modifications. We had to really all I can to think of is the a ESM really and communications gear while keeping the whaler snake. look intact. Right now, she's going around conducting SIGIN missions. In the future, we plan to use her as a communications relay you know, base between you and Mother Base. Big Boss's son. And also as a chopper resupply vessel. Bad snake. Diamond docks. The word diamond originally comes from the Greek Adamas. It means indomitable, unyielding. Other words for the stones often mean eternal bond, fortitude, or purity. The same is true of the Star of Bethlehem flowers you laid on the boss's grave. They represent innocence, as well as chastity, yielding to no man while maintaining one's virtue. In other words, staying loyal to something. I can actually agree with that one. Knowing that the definition of diamond in Latin, for how it's said and what it actually is, a diamond, I can actually see it. Something unbreakable, untwistable, unchanging. Something you can't force into anything else, uh, anything other than what it is. A diamond. A diamond. Something that became, that went through so much pressure and survived that now it's unchangeable. It's the most strongest structure in the planet. Oh yeah, that's right. That is right. You do not mess with me. I want something. I take it. Kids in America.
Wait, wait, crap, wait. But yes, Diamond Dogs fits the name perfectly. Like that's it now just Hmm Extract Interpreter and Extract Highly Skilled Soldier. Oh yes! Baby yes! Yes! Let's go! Oh yes, this is a side, but it's, they might as well call it the freaking original thing you need. I need the translator, I can't understand smack of what they're telling me, they can be telling me some good stuff. I'm actually curious about that, do these guys actually speak English, because I feel like they do. I mean, otherwise, how is it they, like, you ask them, where are, where are, Where's a wolf? There. Oh crap! There are multiple. I'm out. Extraction arrived at base. Tell me this is not an epic thing. If I can get the translator, oh my god, everything will become so much easier. I'm not even joking. I don't have to, I, I can get more information, everything will become much easier. I want to get everything, I'm not joking, that's going to be my personal little thing. Get every damn cassette from everywhere, I don't care how I have to do it, but I'm going to get them. Wait, can I take a shortcut? I feel like I can take a shortcut. I feel it. Can it? Will I? Will this work? I should probably check on the map. Yeah, I can take up a shortcut. I feel like I should probably take a shower, but you know what? I, I don't need to go to the mother base yet. I need to get that Russian... Extract that dude. Yeah. I thought I was joking. <laughs> Actually. Eh. I think so. Beautiful. I'll come back for that. Yeah. Wait, can't this the horse leave poop? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. They're mine. Actually, no, I'm good. I'm gonna concentrate on what I need to do. Let's get the hell to my location. I can't see smack, and this horse is gonna have to deal with it. Where am I? It's clearing up. 
Wait, is there clearing up actually? So I'm curious, every what does the sandstorm storm appear? Like it's every half an hour or something? Wait, did I just Yeah, I was gonna go through it, but I don't need it anymore. I feel like they have a cassette though. I feel like every location has a cassette. It's hidden, it's somewhere, and I need to find it. But I got a lot of time. We found out there's an English speaking soldier somewhere in the region. He's a language specialist. His role is to translate information related to the West into Russian. If we can get him to join us, we'll have the upper hand in information warfare. Find this language specialist and extract him. Whoa, whoa! Hey, ты же говоришь по-английски? Это не просто. Верно работает в переводческом отделении, аналитики, западной разведки. У тебя свет допоздна. One of these two speaks English, even though I feel like he's in there. I spent. I spent last night. Last night with your girlfriend. Good boy. Good boy. Talk. Uh, I don't um, know English. Angliski. He speaks Russian. What we need is an interpreter. The main principle of intelligence work is intel gathering. But that's a problem if you don't speak the enemy's language. We need a staff member with the interpreter skill to do a simultaneous interpretation. He's in there. It's him. Destination. It's somebody. It's one of these two. But who? Wait, is there any more up there? You know what? Bingo! Spit it out! Oh yes, you're gonna help.
It's this boy. Up you go. Side up completed. Extraction arrived at mother base. <laughs> Unit function added. Boss, that language specialist you extracted has been very cooperative. Says he's always dreamed of living a free life like folks in the West. What are the odds, huh? I've gone ahead and placed him in the support unit. His job is Russian interpretation. Now you'll know what Soviet soldiers are saying. You can even interrogate them. Should give you an edge in the mission. Don't mind if I do. Wake up. Actually. Spit it out. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna take advantage of this. Where are the others? Alright, that's it. Every single one of you is gonna get intrigued. American style. Shoot, American? I don't need to say American. I, I can just. See, stop, boy. Sure, you got nothing to say to me. All right, the map has been updated. I'm loving this. Are all these little things rough diamond? We already picked it up then? Oh, okay, cool. Alright. Wormwood, also known as absinthium. That's used to make your phantom cigars. Beautiful. Beautiful. I feel like I'm going to just beat up more Russians. I know that sounds messed up, but I just want to get more information. I can get information about anything. <laughs> <laughs> 